<laughs> Have you ever wondered why you should add sugar after mixing the egg foam in baking? Also, if the egg yolk stop egg foam from foaming because of fat, will all you do the same? Hello, my name is Clarence Lim, and this is my food science project on egg foam. Now, before I start telling you what I did for the project, let me give you the rundown. Egg white foam is really important in baking, especially when making a cake like Chinese sponge cake. Foaming the egg white will increase the volume of the cake and give airy lightness to the cake. Now, in this project, my goal is to test the different ingredients and methods to see which egg foam lasts the longest or shortest and why. Did you never make egg white before? Uh, egg foam are form after beating it with a mixer. As time go on, the egg foam will become much more weaker. This due to the protein structure in the egg. It kind of like this. The protein will become all stringy after blend and some air trapped inside or stabilize egg foam. However, the egg foam will revert back to a somewhat liquid state at room temperature when I have enough time. Other things can affect stability of the egg foam, like pH and salt, sugar, lipid, and heat. In this experiment, I will be testing on the stability of the egg foam by using different ingredients, temperature, and process. If egg foam is unstable, then, if, then more fluid extracted. If the egg foam is stable, then less fluid extracted. The, mater the material I would use is cold egg, white sugar, brown sugar, canola oil, olive oil, and one warm egg. I will also use graduated cylinder, metal filter, tablespoon and teaspoon, a machine mixer, some cups and bowl, and a egg yolk separator. Some of you may ask, how do I, a non-scientist, get a graduated cylinder? Well, for me, I grab a thin tall cup that I could find in the house, add a teaspoon of water, mark it, and repeat. One teaspoon of liquid will represent around five milliliter of liquid each. Then congrats, you make your own homemade cylinder. Just make sure to protect your marking with tape in case the marking get washed away. And here's a graduated cylinder I will be using. Now that the intro and material out of the way, I will show you the process I did. Okay, now let's do with the first code egg. Okay, so let's see. Crack it. Open it. Make sure the white come out. Uh, put it away, take out my glove, uh, make sure all the, all the egg white this time uh, come out completely. Okay, now uh, I shall go ahead and start by timer and ready to blend my the first egg, the only uh, egg uh, white. So I will set to speed of 4 and blend. Okay, now this is look perfect right now. So it's stiff. Now I'm just going to try to wipe off the stuff over that down. Set this one to set the uh, mixture to the side. Okay, now I'm just going to place the stiff uh, egg white into the uh, into a cup, and then later on, after ten minutes, I will uh, measure it. So now I'm just going to stop the timer, and I believe it's around like four thirty-six. So I should take down the time lapse of how long it takes. So four minutes and 
36 second and now I'm just going to take all this egg white and then place it into the filter I'm just going to get a little bit rest. Okay. So I set this one to the side. Put this one up front. And now I shall wait for uh, 10 minutes. So yeah, and after 10 minutes, I will just measure the milliliter and that's it. Okay then, well, right now it's 10 minutes up, and now it's time for me to uh, take time to uh, like take the water and just put and then put inside the, my my handmade uh, graduate cylinder. Okay, so uh, right now I'm looking at my grad, my handmade graduate cylinder. Uh, it seems like it's around uh, 8.5 milliliter. Uh, each line is about 5 milliliter, so I guess so. Uh, I'm running off to 8.5 milliliter. So yeah, after the 10 minute mark. As you can see, uh, I took down uh, the 10, I write down the 10 minute mark of 8.5 milliliter on my card uh, for the egg white code. Okay, so uh, 20 minutes is up. And now time to check the uh, only egg white uh, code uh, again okay so uh, after 20 minutes the uh, code uh, egg white uh, seemed like uh, seemed like around uh, 11 milliliter after uh, 20 minutes so now I have recorded uh, on the 20 minute there is 11 milliliter uh, for the only egg white code Okay, so now 30 minutes is up. Uh, time to see about like uh, how much milliliter of egg white has dripped down. As you can see, uh, it seemed like around 14.5 uh, milliliter uh, for the cold egg white in 30 minutes. So uh, this is now the whole data for the only egg white code. So yeah. I pretty much repeat the, this process over and over. To minimize the amount of time, I decided to only record the start of the lab, the result after 30 minutes, and the recorded result. So here are the rest of the lab. Okay, so uh, here is the egg white only, uh, but this time it's warm instead of cold. Now I'm just going to uh, blend it and then give you the result. Okay, so this is the warm egg white uh, result after 30 minutes. It seems to be around uh, 17 milliliter as the result. Here's the result of the warm egg white only. So here's the egg white uh, with white sugar before mixing. As you can see, uh, the amount of egg white drip down from uh, sugar uh, mixing uh, be like before mixing is around 3 milliliter. So here's the result of everything for the egg white sugar uh, before mixing. 0 milliliter in 10 minutes, 1 milliliter in 20 minutes, and 3 milliliter in 30 minutes. Uh, okay, so after I mix a little bit, now I will add a uh, two milliliter of sugar, uh, and then I will uh, start mixing again. This will be my uh, egg white after uh, mixing uh, with sugar with white sugar. Okay, so the result 
after 30 minutes for the egg white uh, with added sugar after mixing is about a uh, 5 milliliter as a result and uh, here's the result uh, egg white with sugar after mixing okay so here's the egg white with brown sugar before mixing okay so uh, as you can see uh, the result for the egg white adding uh, brown sugar uh, before mixing is around 2 milliliter as a result so here's the result for the egg white uh, with brown sugar uh, before mixing overall Here's the egg white for the brown sugar after uh, mixing a little bit. So I'm going to add two, uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar. And yeah. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, the total amount for the egg white uh, with brown sugar after uh, mixing is around 1.2 milliliter. Okay, so uh, here's the egg white with brown sugar after mixing result. Here's the egg white with canola oil uh, before mixing. They both kind of look like the same color, so I'm just showing this. So uh, here's the result of the canola oil uh, with egg white uh, before mixing after uh, 30 minutes which is around 9 milliliter here's the overall result for the egg white with canola oil before mixing here's the egg white uh, with canola oil after mixing So here's the egg white with canola oil after uh, mixing, uh, after uh, 30 minutes. The total is 11 milliliter. Here's the egg white with canola oil after uh, mixing uh, overall result. Here's the egg white with extra virgin olive oil uh, before mixing. Okay, so uh, it have been passing at 18 minutes and right now uh, my, it seems like the olive oil uh, with egg white uh, before uh, mixing uh, doesn't seem to foam, I start foaming. I, I'm thinking either because the olive oil is causing this or the yolk is, or there's like maybe a little bit yolk left that prevent it from uh, mixing into a f egg white foam okay so uh take two uh here's the egg white for the extra virgin uh, olive oil uh, before mixing Okay, so uh, seven minute half pass, and uh, as you can see, uh, the egg white foam with uh, olive oil um, before uh, mixing had not had not even uh, created like a soft foam, uh, which is kind of uh, strange. Well, uh, despite of the outcome, uh, I still measured the egg white with olive extra virgin olive oil uh, before mixing and I found it uh, to be around uh, 4 milliliter as a result after 30 minutes 
So here's the written uh, overall result for the egg white with olive oil before mixing. Okay, so uh, here's the egg white uh, for the olive oil uh, after mixing it to the soft peak. And let's see uh, if it actually formed any foam or not. Okay, so uh, I have been planning for uh, five minutes, and uh, it seems that the soft peak that I that used to form uh, suddenly just uh, disappeared after adding the olive oil. As you can see, uh, it's not even uh, making a small peak anymore; it's just going backward. Uh, so uh, I do think I do believe that uh, olive oil uh, does uh, prevent uh, egg. Uh, egg foaming, uh, similar to how a uh, egg yolk uh, prevent egg foaming from being created. And while uh, blending, I did notice that at first, it's getting to a little bit larger volume, but it suddenly everything just collapsed and shrink. So yeah. Okay, so uh, after uh, thirty minutes, uh, the result of the egg white with olive oil after mixing is 8 milliliter. Here's the overall res written result for the egg white with olive oil after mixing. And here's the result. And yes, so we'll re remove because I don't think I will have enough time. Anyway, as you can see, the highest stability egg foam for dairy milk goes to brown sugar after with 1.3 milliliter. Second phase go with brown sugar uh, before mixing with two milliliter. And finally, third phase uh, have a uh, white sugar, add white sugar before uh, mixing with three milliliter. So yeah, uh, the lowest stability for egg white foam for 30 minutes will not be olive oil because olive oil did not create any of the egg white foam. So, so in that case, uh, first plate will go to the warm egg with 17 milliliter, cold egg with 14.5 milliliter, and finally canola oil after uh, mixing with 11 milliliter. Now in this experiment, I will use sugar, lipid, and heat to change the outcome of the egg foam. Sugar make egg foam more stable because of the increased Fantasy, which also lower the drainage. This will also increase the stability of the egg white protein from unfolding and reduce the foam volume. Which is why adding sugar before mix took a lot a long time to stiffen. This gives sugar first place in egg foam stability. As for lipid, it can act as a foam stabilizer, but not that well since it had low viscosity and cohesive property to hold uh, the pressure of the bubble. Uh, lipid can even prevent foaming in the first place, like with the extra virgin olive oil experiment. My hypothesis of why canal oil can form uh, foam while olive oil cannot is because olive oil may have too much uh, fat concentration, which I think is true because the total fat of olive oil I use has more percentage of total fat than canola oil. As for heat, it destabilizes egg foam by increasing the fluidity of the egg foam, which give warm egg first place in egg foam with the least stability. However, heat also reduces the surface tension of the egg white, which may explain why warm egg form foam the fastest. In conclusion, if you add brown sugar after mixing, then you make the strongest egg foam. If you use olive oil, then your egg foam will be ruined. If you use warm egg, then you will get the egg foam faster. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching my egg foam experiment. See you next time.